Okay, we have been in the town of Sorrento. And when I was there, I noticed that they have a lot of uh, seeds in one single shop. It looks that they're selling vegetables. Everywhere, of course, people there grow their own food. They try to be self-sufficient as much as they can. Uh, because of the background of the World War II, when the Americans invaded and the Vesuvius was erupting also, and people were hungry, the, the roads were closed, they, they could not grow much because uh, it, was a, it was a time of the war. So the country was under occupation. So they learned their lesson practically, probably even before that they knew how to do it. But they try to be self-sufficient by growing their own food. You see everywhere they grow different kind of things. I have some videos about it. In, especially in Sorrento, I've seen this. In Napoli that we are now is a little bit uh, different because it's a big town. But there yet you see people rely on a lot of produce from the local area. So these are the seeds that are bought from there. Uh, this is called the uh, pumpkin zucca called Tonda di Napoli. That's from Naples or Napoli as they call it in Italian. This is zucca longa piena di Napoli, again from Napoli. All these lovely seeds are from Napoli. I bought them in Sorrento, of course. Pomodoro, Ponderosa. This is another yellow, pom uh, yellow orange uh, tomato. I saw a kind of big orange, pinkish red, uh, pinkish green color, greenish yellow color. They say it's very tasty. They didn't have a seed for that, they, they saw this finish. So I asked them and they didn't have it. So I have to see if I can find it in the UK later when I'm returning. Okay, this is the kind of uh, beet or spinach beet, as they call perpetual uh, spinach. Bietola do coste isica verde do tagilio or taglio. And this is a kind of courgette, Zucchino Striato di Napoli San Pasquale. Um, we, we have seen them, they just uh, harvest them when they are the thickness of a finger. They sell the female ones with the flower, the male ones just a flower. I saw them in the shop in the Capri, island of Capri in the Campania. This is a very big leaf uh, basil. I've seen it once here in the somewhere they were selling the seeds. I didn't have much success. I thought it's better buy the seed from a uh, original. I saw them actually growing it in a in a kitchen garden of a hotel. I saw Basilico Ophoglia di Latuga Bolosa. I saw it in Ravello actually in a garden in Ravello, kitchen garden of a hotel in Ravello. This is a kind of many of these kind of uh, rockets are originating from uh, from Italy especially from the uh, mountain regions like Alps and uh, Pennine. That is uh, Rocola selvatica. Another kind of uh, uh, thing which I'm going to grow for winter this time, another rocket, is called Rocola cultivata. This is the another one. So uh, each one of these cost me one euro. Uh, in the UK maybe it is more, I've seen already. I bought uh, some seeds from the Seeds of Frenchie, very good. Pumpkins I tried before, they were very good. I'll try to see if I can find anything I didn't find here, but I saw it uh, from the French seeds, seeds of Italy. Uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, oh, one euro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven euros in total. Oh, eight. Eight euros. Another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight euros for all these lovely seeds. Now we will see how they will do back home in the Hartfordshire a lot went live.